Hi guys, Rob your PT. I'm here with another video for you, hopefully going to dispel some myths around nutrition for body composition, okay? Two issues that I, th I think this really will help is with regards to supplements. People are always asking me, what is the best protein shake for me without putting any other consideration to any other aspect of their diet? So we're going to go over a diagram today that's going to hopefully show you the importance of the rest of your diet. And another thing I also hear a lot is this myth about no carbs after six, all right, or not eating carbohydrates in the evening because they will just magically make you fat. Again, the same diagram will hopefully show us why that is not necessarily the case and there's more important part, aspects of your diet to focus on before you worry about when and where you're eating your carbs, okay? Yeah. So what I've drawn up for you here, guys, is what we refer to as the nutrition pyramid, okay? Essentially speaking, the large proportion of importance is placed on the base of the pyramid and gradually each stage of the pyramid gets smaller as it rises and therefore that element decreases in the importance, okay? So it's important to note that without the previous level of the pyramid from the bottom upwards, the things at the top are irrelevant, okay? So if you are gonna focus on the things at the top without focusing on the things at the bottom first, you're not going to get the results you're looking for, okay? So what we'll always do when creating a diet program, when looking to change your body composition by focusing on nutrition, is to start at the bottom with the calorie amount and then systematically work our way upwards, okay? Most people will get really fantastic results in terms of changing their body composition by just tracking their calories, okay? That's why it's a huge proportion of this diagram and you can see it clear as day at the bottom there. Calories are the key. If you want to get bigger or smaller, the calories is your first port of call, okay? Obviously, there is other things we can concentrate on, and if you have the inclination to track your macros and your micronutrients, think about meal timing and supplements, then absolutely those things will change your body and help towards that, but they form a smaller percentage of what is important compared to the calories, okay? So let's refer to that question I often get asked, which is the best protein shake? So it's always the first thing people ask in the gym, which is the best protein shake? Because we see a lot in the media, we see a lot in adverts on social media, people are, are, are saying that protein shakes and supplements are the thing that's gonna change your body, okay? The magazines are kind of shoving that down our throats, left, right, and center. This supplement will give you this body. Without this supplement, your workout's a waste of time, etc., etc. right? Supplements own this tiny little portion of the pyramid, all right? So they're small in importance, and also the last thing we get to, if you remember we work from the bottom up to the top, they're the last thing we're gonna get to. So without knowing how many calories you're consuming each day, without knowing the proportion of fats, carbohydrates, and protein that you are uh, eating out of those calories, without focusing on your micronutrients, your vitamins and minerals, and without worrying about when and where you're eating these things in terms of time of day, for the macronutrients, time of day for the proportion of calories, etc. Your supplements aren't going to do a great deal for you, all right? Think about macronutrients. If you're gonna buy a protein shake, how do you know that you need more protein if you're not tracking your macronutrients? How do you know that you're not already over on your protein and you're not lacking in, let's say, fats? You don't, that's, that's the bottom line, all right? Let's think about then that other issue of no carbs after six, okay? Thinking about, what time you're eating your carbohydrates is here in this purple block, that is meal timing. So completely disregarding how many calories you're eating that day, how many carbohydrates you're eating that day, and how many of your other macronutrients you're eating that day, i.e. from the most important two blocks that come before this purple one, you wanna worry about when you're eating carbohydrates, regardless of the fact that you might be eating a thousand calories too little, a thousand calories too much, you might be eating 50 grams carbs too much, you might not be eating enough carbs. But magically, those carbs are gonna make you fat or change your body or ruin your results because it's 6 p.m. and I don't know, I don't know what the logic is behind that. Yes, meal timing can be relevant, absolutely it can be, but not at the expense of knowing what your calorie intake is, your macronutrient intake, and so on. You're, there's no point in worrying about your meal timing when you're eating a completely different amount of calories each day, and one day you're drinking alcohol, the other day you're eating junk food, the other day you're eating very little, and you're all over the place with your diet. You have to get a consistent amount of calories in, all right? 
that suits your day, that suits your goals, that suits your training, and keep it consistent, all right? It doesn't have to be the same amount every day. It can fluctuate based on what you're doing and based on your output, but it needs to be tracked and it needs to be consistent in what you're doing, okay? You need to have a method. If you're just eating randomly, willy-nilly, but then not letting yourself eat carbohydrates after 6 p.m., there's no logic in that whatsoever. So, if you want to use your nutrition to change your body composition, the first thing you have to do is find a calorie amount that you should be eating, okay? This is gonna be based on how much energy you're burning and what you want to achieve with your goals. If you wanna add muscle and gain weight, you're gonna to wanna to overshoot your calorie amount by maybe 300 calories, okay? So you need to eat a little bit more than you need to remain at your body weight. That makes sense, right? If you want to lose weight, and namely lose body fat, you want to decrease the amount of calories so you're slightly underneath that calorie amount so that your body's gonna lose weight, okay? That makes sense. If we wanna streamline it a little bit more and make sure that we're holding on to muscle and not just becoming soft and weak, then the next stage is to think about the macronutrients, all right? to make sure we're getting enough protein and fats to go along with the carbohydrates that we're eating and make sure the proportion of those calories come from the right macronutrients, okay? You can tweak the micronutrients, you can get more or less of certain vitamins during the day, depending on your training, your goals, and your own personal body issues and any uh, anything within your body that is different to everyone else. Everyone's numbers are gonna be different, okay? Then at this point, when you've got these three things right, then you can start to think about meal timing. Then you can start to think about when you're training, when you go to work, when you're resting, when you're active, when you do cardio, when you lift weights, when you're sprinting, when you're playing five-a-side football. That's when meal timing and frequency becomes relevant. But without the things that come before it, it's not gonna help you at all, okay? And then the last thing, the icing on the cake is your supplements, all right? If you eat Cheerios for breakfast and have a Red Bull for lunch, but you religiously have a protein shake after you train and expect to have a great physique, I've got news for you, it's not going to work. A protein shake is not magic. Creatine is not magic, all right? They will not change your body unless you take into account what's happening under here. That means getting the right amount of calories. That means getting a good amount of, of protein from food sources before supplements. It means getting good carbohydrates and good fats in the right ratio. It means getting good micronutrients. So yeah, you might have to eat some vegetables and it means not eating stupidly late at night and getting all your calories in just before you go to bed so you feel sick. It means constantly feeding your body and giving it protein, fat, carbs and micronutrients gradually throughout the day. So that is the frequency of when you're eating and then knock yourself out. Go and spend 50 pound on a protein shake because you already made it, all right? But without these things, these things at the top are irrelevant. Yeah. Mm. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you found it useful. If you've got any questions, do drop a comment below. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at RobYourPT. Thanks a lot again, guys. Yeah.